Pentastomata, Wikipedia article audio. Pentastomata are an enigmatic group of parasitic crustaceans commonly known as tongue worms due to the resemblance of the species of the genus Linguatula to a vertebrate tongue. Biology Anatomy Life cycle Human infestation Affinities Crustaceans Stem arthropods Fossil record Classification There are about 130 extant species of pentastomids, all are obligate parasites with correspondingly degenerate anatomy. Adult tongue worms vary from about 1 to 14 cm in length, and parasite is the respiratory tracts of vertebrates. They have five anterior appendages. One is the mouth, the others are two pairs of hooks which they use to attach to the host. This arrangement led to their scientific name, meaning five openings, but although the appendages are similar in some species, only one is a mouth. Alternative names for the pentastomata include pentastoma, ling achalida, and acanthotheca. Historically significant accounts of tongue worm biology and systematics include early work by Joseph Alois Froelich, Alexander von Humboldt, Karl Asmund Rudolfi, Karl Morais Diesing and Rudolf Luckert. Other important summaries have been published by Louis Weston Rasambin, Richard Hamons, and John Riley, and a review of their evolutionary relationships with a bibliography up to 1969 was published by J.T. Self. Pentastomids are worm-like animals ranging from 2 to 13 cm in length. The anterior end of the body bears five protuberances, four of which are clawed legs, while the fifth bears the mouth. The body is segmented and covered in a chitinous cuticle. The digestive tract is simple and tubular, since the animal feeds entirely on blood, although the mouth is somewhat modified as a muscular pump. The nervous system is similar to that of other arthropods, including a ventral nerve cord with ganglia in each segment. Although the body contains a hemocele, there are no circulatory, respiratory, or excretory organs. Pentastomids live in the upper respiratory tract of reptiles, birds, and mammals, where they lay eggs. They are gonochoric, and employ internal fertilization. The eggs are either coughed out by the host or leave the host body through the digestive system. The eggs are then ingested by an intermediate host, which is commonly either a fish or a small herbivorous mammal. The larva hatches in the intermediate host and breaks through the wall of the intestine. It then forms a cyst in the intermediate host's body. The larva is initially rounded in form with four or six short legs, but molts several times to achieve the adult form. The pentastomid reaches the main host when the intermediate host is eaten by the main host, and crawls into the respiratory tract from the esophagus. Tongue worms occasionally parasite as humans. While there is a report of sebakia inducing dermatitis, the two genera responsible for most internal human infestation are Linguatula and Armil lifer. Visceral pentastomiasis can be caused by Linguatula serrata, Armil lifer Armil latus, Armil lifer maniliformis, Armil lifer grandis, and Porocephalus crotally. The terms associated with infections can vary. Porocephalus and Armil lifer have much more in common with each other than they do with Linguatula. The affinities of tongue worms have long proved controversial. Historically, they were initially compared to various groups of parasitic worms. Once the arthropod-like nature of their cuticle was recognized, similarities were drawn with mites, particularly gall mites. 
Although gall mites are much smaller than tongue worms they also have a long, segmented body and only two pairs of legs. Later work drew comparisons with millipedes and centipedes, with velvet worms and water bears. Some authors interpreted tongue worms as essentially intermediate between annelids and arthropods, while others suggested that they deserved a phylum of their own. Tongue worms grow by molting, which suggests they belong to Ectososo, while other work has identified the arthropod like nature of their larvae. In general, there are two current alternative interpretations pentastomids are highly modified and parasitic crustaceans, probably related to fish lice, or they are an ancient group of stem arthropods, close to the origins of Arthropoda. The possibility that tongue worms are crustaceans can be traced back to the work of Pierre-Joseph van Beneden, who compared them to parasitic copepods. The modern form of this hypothesis dates from Carl George Wingstrand's study of sperm morphology, which recognized similarities in sperm structure between tongue worms and fish lice a group of maxillopod crustaceans which live as parasites on fish and occasionally amphibians. John Riley and colleagues also offered a detailed justification for the inclusion of the tongue worms among the crustaceans. The fish louse model received significant further support from the molecular work of Lawrence G. Abiel and colleagues. A number of subsequent molecular phylogenies have corroborated these results, and the name Ichthyostrica has been proposed for a clade. Thus a number of important standard works and databases on crustaceans now include the pentastomids as members of this group. Critics of the ichthyostrica hypothesis have pointed out that even parasitic crustaceans can still be recognized as crustaceans based on their larvae, but that tongue worms and their larvae do not express typical characters for crustacea or even U. arthropoda. An alternative model notes the extremely ancient Cambrian origins of these animals and interprets tongue worms as stem group arthropods. A recent morphological analysis recovered pentastomata outside the arthropods, as sister group to a clade including nematodes, priapulids and similar ectososo and worm groups. Adding fossils, they suggested an extinct animal called Facivermis could be closely related to tongue worms. However it should be stressed that these authors did not explicitly test pentastomid slash crustacean relationships. Exceptionally preserved, three-dimensional and phosphatist fossils from the Upper Cambrian Orston of Sweden and the Cambrian slash Ordovician boundary of Canada have been identified as pentastomids. Four fossil genera have been identified from the Cambrian so far, Engapentastomum, Bacalera cambria, Hafnera cambria, and Haymonsa cambria. These fossils suggest that pentastomids evolved very early and raise questions about whether these animals were parasites at this time, and if so, on which hosts. Conodonts have sometimes been mentioned as possible hosts in this context. A fifth genus, Invavida is from Silurian-aged marine strata of England. Fossil specimens of Invavida are found firmly attached to their ostracod hosts of the species Nymphatellina gravida. It possessed a head, a worm-like body, and two pairs of limbs. This article follows Martin and Davis in placing Pentastomata in the class Maxillopoda within the subphylum Crustacea. The subclass contains the following extant orders, superfamilies, families, genera, and species. Linguatula disease can be called linguaculiasis or linguaculosis, porocephalus disease can be called porocephaliasis or porocephalosis, armillifer disease can also be called porocephalosis, pentastomiasis can refer to any infection of pentastomata.